This is a 12 lead EKG. As Brian Fire Department paramedic Matt Ford describes the portable cardiac monitor EMS staff use in their ambulances, he's reminded of all heart attack patients he hooks those cords up to. It goes on your chest like that. But one stands out whose life was no doubt saved in part by a quick diagnosis and a fast acting medical team. We were dispatched, I believe, to a, to a choking patient um, with the possibility of respiratory arrest, meaning the patient wasn't breathing at all. Matt was one of three paramedics who responded to Tim Smith November 20th of last year. <laughs> Once they reached him, they realized his situation was more serious than originally thought. Sometimes when someone does not have a heartbeat and we get a heartbeat back, their mental status improves. They're able to talk to us or respond to pain. Uh, he never did any of those things while in our care. Tim's outlook didn't look good. But as on every call, Matt and his colleagues give patients the benefit of the doubt and alert St. Joseph's of the patient's condition before they get there. They do this by sending the EKG results as the ambulance heads to the hospital, prepping heart attack staff for what's ahead. That allows the physician to see the picture we've taken of the patient's heart and activate the cath lab or prepare other treatments however they see fit. A near flawless communication system, St. Joseph Cardiac Nurse Amy Plotz credits to the hospital's nationally low heart attack treatment time of just 43 minutes. So we've worked very hard with our EMS providers, so that treatment actually starts in the truck. And even though that treatment in the truck might just shave off minutes, it makes a huge difference in immediate care and the healing process. And the longer time that it takes to remove that clot and open up that artery, the more muscle that's lost. And in Tim's case, he needed that care so quickly, the treatment he received in the ambulance helped save his life. And just three months later, he's back on the treadmill three times a week. St. Joseph doctors write all heart attack patients orders to attend cardiac rehab. If they complete the recommended program, it reduces their chances of having another heart attack significantly, as does the care they receive on the go. We've either helped someone to feel better or we saved their life. It's just an amazing feeling. In Brian, Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News.